A figment of your talented fertile imagination. I was asked by Miss Raymond to deliver a perfectly ordinary pair of horn rimmed spectacles to a gentleman in Cairo by the name of Richard Sullivan. I intend to deliver those spectacles, Mr. Constantine. There is no such person as Richard Sullivan. That persuade you to accept my offer. But the spectacles don't belong to my husband. They were entrusted to him. They by... were given to him by a rather impetuous young lady. Yes, I know all about right. that. For your information, Mr. Sullivan, you can for the money you have to pay. You need 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 the money you have to pay. You and Gerda Stevenson as Steve. Others taking part were Richard Greenwood, Eliza Langland, Angus McInnes, Lucy Patterson, and Nick Underwood. The production was by Patrick Rayner. Awesome. Another professional driver running the lights. Of course we're not very far from El Alamein. No. Is that the famous road? The one they took the supplies along? Yes. Don't you answer the road, dickhead? Would you care for a pep, Mrs. Temple? No, thank you. It's pretty dull, thanks. Sighted. We can't be far from the right now. There's a light over the door. The panel's lit up. What does it say? Oh, no smoking. Fasten your safety belts, please. Let me help you out. Fasten your belts, please. Fasten your safety belts, please. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I've been informed by the captain that we are a few minutes ahead. Mr. Portland's secretary. The wise secretary. Yeah, you got the right guy, all right. Mrs. Temple, listen, there's something I want to say. You can't stop well, there, listening, dickhead. Kent. Now, don't take this wrong. This isn't a melodramatic warning. It's just a nice piece of friendly advice. Fucking hell. Liking to that husband of yours, Mrs. Temple. <laughs> looks a pretty regular fella. Well, I think so. Of course, I may be prejudiced. And regular fellas like that should be taken care of, you know? They shouldn't be allowed Where are you to going, go pushing their noses into affairs which don't concern them. What do you mean? Tell your husband to keep out of this Madison case. If he doesn't, it's going to get mixed up with a bunch of very... Um... 